All right. Final round of the night. Let's go. <clears throat> Briefing is going to be local rebels staging daring smashing grabs on NATO checkpoints outside of a major airfield. Mission rules Blue Force required to send one squad, either Bravo, Charlie, or Delta, to a safe zone two during safe start. Blue Force may only send that squad. Blue Force at safe zone two are not required to stay once safe start ends. Blue Force Hotel cannot take off until after safe start ends. Iron sights only. So I wonder if that means marksmen are also scuffed on that. Uh, this is going to be a rush game mode with terminals. So the terminals have to be taken in a specific order. There's three terminals and the hack time is a minute and a half each. So otherwise mission variables here, standard round of 50 minutes after a 50 minute safe start. Maximum view distance is going to be 891 meters. No magnified optics, it's just says iron sights. Um, oh yeah, so iron sights only means there's no holographics or anything. It's literally just iron sights, interesting. Defender points are 175, that's 50 points more than the uh, general uh, 125 and then no NVG equipment. Medium anti-tank settings, both sides are going to be getting two AT rounds per launcher. Now to quickly break this down guys it's not just the at guy that has these they also have an assistant so that assistant also has uh that's why it says per person uh two additional or three additional whatever this roster says that's why again it says per person otherwise blue fort uniforms here are going to be your modern greek armed forces lizard camouflage so they sent the greeks to chango interesting break down real quick platoon leader sergeant uh for the pl uh platoon which um usually is the two i see up here but we only have the platoon lead guy but i digress squad leader team leader auto rifleman which has your light machine gun uh, which is going to be probably a 249 or mini -me platform. Uh, auto rifleman assistant who has extra ammo, grenadier, grenadier IR, who have to hunt IR rounds. Little 40 millimeter grenades you fire in the air, turns into a camera with a parachute. Great for getting a bird's eye view of the AO. Uh, you got your machine gunner with your MMG, uh, and then your machine gunner assistant who carries additional ammo. Combat engineer, light anti tank, medium anti tank one, and the assistant, two into the assistant. Sometimes they turn one of these into an AA piece instead of an AT piece. Uh, that's why they have them separate like that. Recon infantry, recon infantry scout, the two suppressed shooters, designated marksman, which if I remember for the Greek stuff, is just a 416 with a scope. But I will verify that later because it's not in the loadout description because F and F. And then you got your sniper, crew lead, crewmen, pilots, medics, and then the base kit. Loadouts for these guys is going to be a mix of L1, A1 polymers. That's 20 rounds of 762 by 51 NATO, but it cannot be full autoed. And I have heard that player bases in FNF hate using that gun because the fire rate is trash because it's no full auto. So when they fight guys with AKs, for example, that can go full auto, especially in CQC, they get outperformed every time. And if you want some proof on that, go back in my uh, videos on the Shenanigans channel and look at all of the British paratroopers versus Soviets on Malden 2035. Every single mission that was run, the Soviets won because they were fighting the British who had L1A1s to play as the L85s and, uh, excuse me, the, um, yeah, no, it was L1A1s, my bad. Um, cause they're also FNFALs, but they, they got dominated every single fucking time, uh, because of that fire superiority with the AK, but I digress. L1A1s are HK416s, Glock 17s for the handgun, mini Mies for the, uh, light machine gunner, um, which is basically an M249 platform, 200 rounds, 556. Five, uh, and then the FN mag also, you know, 240 golf or Bravo, whatever you want to call it, 100 rounds of 762 by 51 NATO for the medium machine gunner. Light anti tank's going to be single shot disposable M72. Sniper gets a choice of an M2010, uh, which I believe is 308 um bolt action sniper rifle with a bunch of different camo schemes and then two suppressed shooters get a choice of either an mp7 suppressed or a mark 14 battle rifle suppressed mp7 or an hk416 carbine barrel size because it's the shorter one 14.5 actually no it would be a 10 inch barrel not a 14 so that's just a standard rifle uh for crew and aviation otherwise assets they get five transport urals two uh, transport humvees the armed uh uh, Huey, excuse me, uh, and it's got a thousand rounds between five boxes of 2,000, uh, 200 each for the door guns and then two M113s with M2s. The early version means there's no up armor for it, the driver. Backing it up here, Lurch is going to be commanding, Mito is going to be commanding X-Ray Sam Handwich as the group's medics, Van taking the sniper, Stretch taking the suppressed Mark 14, and Nemesis going with the MP7. All right, 5.7. Let's see how he does with that. Dreek taking Alpha HQ Wiki being a crew member, probably to gun or drive the 113. Anderson leading Alpha 1. He's got Martin Banks, Thorn, who... I believe he's in the marksman slot, so the marksmen also don't get the um, scopes either. They purely irons, but that is uh, a 416 there. Uh, Tender Boehner. Oh, wait, no, I lied to you. Okay, so he gets a scope. But yeah, their marksman rifle is a 556 platform. 
uh, Maz and Fred. Cosmonaut leading Cool Breeze, uh, Harris, Warwick, Coleman Eric, who is on the multi, by the way. So if you do explanation point multi, you'll get a window with my stream and his stream together. And you can control the audios uh, at your leisure. But I always uh, insist you guys watch on the ground because I find it cool personally, but that's just my opinion. And Loki as their medic. Otherwise, good time, Saddam leading Charlie uh, with Artisan and Schnuffles, who are currently climbing under this Vic. Uh, this is scaring me. Okay, no, they're not explosive specialists. All right, sometimes you uh, see suicide traps where they put explosives under a Vic and then try to, like, derelict it and make the enemies take it, and then they just detonate it and kill a bunch of people. It's been a hot second since we've seen that in FNF, but it's really, really cool to see. Uh, otherwise, we got uh, Hunover leading Potato, Wise, Puma, Waldo, and Ilbenek, and then Resent My Love and Night Owl being the pilot combo for the UH-1H. Huey. Otherwise, looking over at Green 4. Green 4 are, <clears throat> let me get my reading glasses on here, the Modern African Militia Desert Camouflage Kits. Going to scroll all the way down. I believe it's going to be an SVD as their marksman rifle. Yep. Uh, and they do get a scope for it. But otherwise, AKMs and AKS-74, uh, so a mix of 7.62x39 and 5.45. Uh, RPK as the light machine gun. PKP as the medium machine gun. Uh, RPG-26 single shot disposable AT launcher. Pretty much a mirror to the uh, US's M72. For the light anti-tank weapon t5000 338 sniper rifle for recon and then a choice of either an aks with 45 round plum mags or an as val with 20 rounds uh, 9 by 39 mags and then crew in aviation either pp2000 or an aks uh crew served weapons nothing on there they get four open helixes two covered helixes two dishka helixes and six pkm helixes a lot of firepower but you got to remember uh they cannot turn that gun more than 90 degrees uh, it only has a 90 degree arc of fire. They cannot turn it more uh, than 45 degrees over to the left or right sides. It is front facing only, uh, which is why I don't really like using them when I'm Zeusing because the AI are dumb when they drive Vicks like these. So uh, I usually prefer the vanilla version, which allows for the full 360 and there's other versions of uh, technicals that allow for that. Otherwise they have an MI-24 down. Where the fuck is that? It's definitely not gonna be armed. I think that's a Oh my god, it's got bombs and a freaking AA. Okay, yeah, it's definitely like locked somewhere. They're not going to actually let people take those, but I digress. Let's go ahead and look over at the Green Force side. We have Nielsen Commanded. I haven't seen Nielsen Command in a hot second. He does once in a blue moon, but yeah, we'll see what he does. Mountain Bean is 2IC. He's a more seasoned commander. Sholand being their medic. Norris leading the X-Ray group. Eagle being the medic. Chine taking the sniper rifle. Drake being the 2IC. Uh, Gordon and Herb both taking the suppressed AKSs. I see Pierce and Blom as leadership under Alpha 1. I'd assume Pierce is the squad leader. So they got Cake, G-Legs, Vagrant, Bag and Play, Revive and Grab, and Mittens under both of them. Guy Fury leading Charlie Wong, the band, Michael Dooley, Falcon, Stark, Chow and uh, Arma Jesus also has showed up. Another really good player. So this is a really good elite team. We saw them kick a lot of ass in uh, the first round as well. And they were pinnacle for winning on that northern. I don't think breaking Guy Fieri's spine is how you send him to Flavortown. Unless you want to put him there in a wheelchair. But okay. Let's send Guy Fieri to Flavortown sometime like that. Is there a prediction up? No, there is not right now. So I'm sorry. My mods usually... Uh deal with that i will set that up in a moment uh we are at oh my god guys what ugh, they're gonna fucking armor themselves at this rate black fox leading tachi immortal killer wolf zandu rob wolf ruffiano shaggy <laughs> shaggy i'm watching these idiots play bumper cars here uh christopher uh funny man uh arts retweet war peterson fez goose and stonjord okay Oh my god, they are actually gonna kill each other with these. So what's our time at? Uh, I will put a prediction up for 10 minutes. Just give me a moment. Did they just drive it? They are so lucky they got it out of there before that water killed the engine. Oh, those chuckleheads. All right. <sighs> They're really, really testing this, are they? My God, let me get the fucking prediction up here. Uh, so it's going to be green for attacking for round three here. So it is. I can just switch it to that. We'll set it. Ah, uh, no, we'll set it to 10 minutes. All right. Get those bets in. Falcon has spoke to me saying he wants to suggest nerfing frags. No, no. 
I'm smoking them skill issue, don't you dare. I do not want to see frags nerfed. Because I've watched FNF since 2020. Frags were already nerfed. Now they're brought back to what they're supposed to be. Keep them as is. Just skill issue, baby. Arma gods require sacrifices. I know. All right, so the attack is coming from here. Wow. All right, so Terminal 1 is all the way over here. Uh, they're forcing Blue 4 to start a squad in Terminal 2 all the way down there, but they might not because of the lower attendance. But these terminals basically have to be taken in order. So one, then two, then three. One, one, threes are being driven up as well. But then again, they might contain. Yeah, so they contain a squad within them that they're going to set up a terminal two, but then immediately move them up with one, one, threes and probably just try to hold terminal one here. But a lot of good fortifications around this town. Uh, some custom buildings placed as well. Oh my God, you're missing the, fortifications, the, funnest game, the funniest game of bumper cars. Bro, I am trying to do my job here, please. Oof. Look, trust me, I know. I've been watching you guys hit each other, all right? Please. For the love of God, I have a job to do. Ah. But anyway. Two and three are down here again with some custom built up areas. But fine. Let's see if they armor themselves. Ah, I kind of hope they do. It'll be really funny. Oh, Falcon doing his uh, enhanced movement glitching. But we'll see what they do. Uh, so far, the attackers won the first round. Defenders won the second round. So it's anyone's game. They're really really testing arma physics today aren't they i swear one of them's gonna blow up jesus christ well i don't know what you expected I'm really surprised they're not blowing up. I think they actually buffed vehicles to not explode now. There's three minutes left. Jesus Christ, guys. I'm just waiting for one of them to physics glitch out and fly out of the AO. Good God. Rubber helmets for a lot of them, yeah. They just ran Michael over. Jesus Christ. They ran him over again. These chuckle fucks. Definitely wearing helmets. You know I have 25k bit. Oh no. <laughs> there goes Michael! Yep, that's what I was waiting for. What in the demolition derby is this BS? This is how the player base keep themselves entertained as they wait for the uh, end of the fucking timer to go down. I'm waiting for the round to begin and they still are doing it and then they just arm each other. That'd be pretty nice. Can we get some Benny Hill? Yeah, right? I think they're going to stop now and get sorted because we're in a few minutes. What the hell are you guys? They're all pointing this way, but that's literally the edge of the map right there. So I don't know what the hell they're going to do. Probably something stupid. What else is new? I don't know why you would. You don't need to do a massive outflank here. You can literally just go down the road and then drive off the road and then just encircle the first AO. So I don't know what the frick they're gonna freaking do here, but we'll see. Exile to Detroit, oh man. They're prepping the turn around. I mean, I... Again, I don't know. That's literally the map border right there. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's a feint. Maybe Keeves over there. <laughs> no. Oh, they're testing their luck. Exile to Dream's basement. I don't think he even has a basement. He's in Britain. I don't... 
Our basement, I've heard basements aren't actually a thing in a lot of countries. All right, there's the round start. No bumper cars. What are you doing? Like, are you actually gonna go in that direction? What are you doing? A lot of them have already moved out here. Now they're turning around. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, because everyone else is already deploying. Oh, we almost saw bumper cars there. That would have been a fun arm a moment. Now they're moving in on foot. The models glitch, all damage gets applied, and everyone just goes flying. Yeah. That's the goal, right? threes have brought everyone uh, reinforcements up as well. <sighs> Mizuki really needed a scar because he realized his uh, his 556 five, wasn't enough. He wanted to go uh, for a scar. Oh, these are scar L's. Never mind. He just, he just really wanted to get ahead in life. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. God damn it. This has been a certified Arma moment. Speaking of Arma, Thorn and Maz opening up early on here. Firing on some green four guys. They've popped the smoke. Start firing back. Oh God. Oh, this should be good. It's mountain on his own. Hey, Blue Four! Can I park here? I'm genuinely impressed that Mountain is still alive. Which I guess means I'm displeased by Blue Four not killing him, but, you know, that's okay. I forgot Mountain has plot armor. Interesting. Now, I got the second half of Green Force Convoy coming in here. They're pushing past where the other Green Force Force dismounted. What are you planning? What? What type of Toyota War bullshit is this? Congrats, you hit a rock. Throw a grenade. I swear to God, you fucking... He just, he just blew himself up. Explosives now catching these green four techies out of position. Pierce getting some good grenade throws here. He thinks about it. He knows what to do with those. We've got other... Other Vix. Oh my God. I think this was the plan. The plan was, be dumb. I still can't believe Blam just blew himself up with that grenade, but hey, you know, whatever goes up must come down, right? So we got some suppressing fire coming out here. Is this mountain? No, this is three other dudes coming in. I don't think Green 4 realized they couldn't like turn around with those techies. Again, they're only limited to 90 degrees of turn on the front, so. Pierce is playing dead, probably bandaging. Blue Force throwing some grenades back here. The main fight is going on back here, which quite a few. Wow, Guy Fieri and Stark are down. This isn't, uh, this is going downhill really fast. Cool Breeze woke back up. Pierce is still playing dead. He doesn't hear the 
medical over his uh, FN mag fire, that's for sure. I wonder if these guys are going to drive around and try to back cap and stay on terminals 2 and 3, but it's clear that blue 4 is just going to hold this one position for all that they can. Pierce might be able to do some back capping here, but the rest of green 4 is just completely pinned out here because they decided to have some of their forces rush in. Oh yeah, we have the Huey. <laughs> I completely forgot. Yeah, the ah, uh, Blue Four has a Huey. So they're not taking fire from the 113 spot in them. They're just blind firing up there. Did they dismounted, dude. No, they still have the plus two over there. This is this is certainly around. Looks like Cobra's got taken out by Pierce. Staying alive back there at this point. Please tell me that's a smoke. Okay, I can't. I don't want to see people blow each other up with more frags. But Blue 4, they have a really nice defensive position here on this ridge. And Green 4 is closing the distance now with these smoke grenades. And Blue 4 is not doing a good job of doing overwatch on it. So now Green 4 is going to get right on top of these positions and close the CQC. And again, we're going to see that advantage of... Uh, well, the L1A1s, uh, but most of these guys look like they have uh, 416, so it's fine. I was going to say the full auto of uh, Green 4 versus the single shot of the L1A1s that Blue 4 has, but looks like most of the L1A1s are uh, gone, except for a few. So now you have Band and Dooley pushing up with where Pierce is, giving his position away, but Pierce wasn't going to move up on his own. But yeah, Blue 4 is now folding into uh, internal defensive positions at this point. What is this truck doing? And why is it pulling up to Blue 4 dudes? <laughs> Did you just shoot him out of the sky? No, he doesn't have to kill. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. And then they just flip themselves down here. What the hell did I just witness? Oh, what? What the actual fuck? This round is literally just a circus. Uh, Green Force mostly dead, but Blue Force also been taking a few KIA, but. It, can we just go play Daisy? Like this, I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, I'd rather have the trolling here. Now all of Green Force sees a fucking helicopter in the sky and is trying to shoot at it. Meanwhile, you got Grav who's run up here. He's a dead guy. He could get in the gun and potentially shoot the 113, but it's pulling back now. Like what? Yeah, we had a great like expert textbook. I wish every round was like it. Uh, round on uh, EU2, and now we have this, and everyone just decided, fuck it. And now, oh, cherry on top. X-Ray fucking off to do their own thing. Oh, man. Like, every round, other two rounds, they X-Ray had purposes, but now X-Ray is just fucking off to do their own thing. Yep. Both sides of F and F. You have the really, really cool tactical plays that you rarely see, and then the really meme -y plays you rarely see. Then everything else is just something in between. Christopher, is he gonna run back up? No, he's looting AT. As now you got the Huey coming in. Now blindly firing, it's not even, oh, no, it's focused on Platoon's Vic right here. The PKP. They're doing their best to lead the shots, but it's not enough. You got Julian Bayon over here. I believe that's Pierce's body over yonder. Yeah, he dead. So now how does Green 4 get down from this ridge into the town? That's going to have to rely on Bayon and Deadly. I called him Deadly because it was Dooley, and I think he's dead because I don't see him anymore. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. How? I actually don't know, but he's dead. Maybe Bay will uh, turn on his lone wolf brain, go in there, and just murder everyone. That's what I'm hoping for at this point. Because everything else is just a shit show.
Green Forest Alpha was given clearance to go crazy with the techies, so you did. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah. See, the thing is, the X-Trick was supporting the Green Fort bush here. They'd actually... I, I would see an opportunity here for them to get everything through, but now I got the 113 also. Oh, oh no, it's, it's blue on blue. They just, they just shot Mito to death. Sam's kind of looking over here, wondering what the hell they're doing. Got a blue four x-ray coming up with the suppressed guns. That's Nemesis and, uh, well, he's dead. So now it's just Nemesis. Jeez, the old man can't aim today. What the fuck? Is this? If that 50 cal actually killed Goose, I would have been impressed, but... Okay. Now the 50 cal's killing me. I'm just gonna write this down. Wow. And I think Green Force lost. Bay's dead, Guy Fieri's trying to push in. I mean, they got all these other units out here, so the round's gonna get extended, but this is just... I don't know. I don't know. I... I'm at a loss for words here. Green Four just have been attacking from multiple different angles, and it's been... They've been cucking themselves. That's, that's how I'm gonna word it here. Oh, I just heard an explosive get thrown. Who threw the satchel? Congratu- oh, Thankfully you didn't kill any of your friends here, but... Yeah, Maz, Maz, I think, thought he heard something and threw a satchel and, ah, uh, man. What are you- I guess he's clearing out these structures so Green Four can't take them? He just- he just blew himself up. He just blew himself up with his own satchel. Icing on the cake is if Guy Fury comes up and double taps. I... He might not wake up too, because that is a satchel throw. So... I think Fred's gonna smoke it to try to pick him up, but I... I'm confused. Third round, yeah. Third round usually goes dumb, but this one takes the cake. Please tell me that's a smoke. Oh, thank God Maz was clipping in the texture, because if I would have laughed if Anderson just threw a grenade and it killed Maz and Fred, and I was going to go, okay. That's it. GG. Grab's now coming in with a 1-1-3. Icing on the cake would be green for hitting it and killing them, uh, killing Grav. See, the really scary thing here is that Green 4 might still win despite all of this crazy BS. Oh, good time Saddam has spotted Wiki. Wiki is a bad guy. Don't let that blue triangle fool you. Wiki has committed several atrocities in Changa. And that is why Blue 4 is shooting him. JK, I don't fucking know. It's a mess. I'm running out of reasons. <laughs> Bacon just poked me saying I did better this time. Because I did recently put out a highlight. Guy Fear getting a great shot there on Fred, I think. And then Maz takes him out. But uh, I published a highlight recently of Bacon uh, doing uh, a bad frag and, like, killing his own team, which was pretty funny, but I digress. And you got this 113 driving around. Gunner turned in, or he's unconscious. I don't know. If they shoot through the back hatch, they might actually be able to pen in there, because sometimes the hatches are really weird. You got now Drake trying to push in. Looks like Arma Jesus also got killed. Ilbenak tried to get out of the Vic. Climb on top of it and shoot him, please. Make him pay for... 
No. Thank you. I was about to say, if he gets up and just kills everyone. So who's their sniper? Because that was a sniper round. Chine just saved their asses. Ah. Oh. What is this? I'm, I... I don't know what's worse, making it on off or watching this? Oh my god, X-Ray has stolen a Green 4 Techie and is now firing at Green 4 with it. I... Mortal Wolf's put his gun on his back, he has given up, okay. Nielsen now pushing on his own. Stark has also run up, there's an explosive in there. Loki might die. Loki is dead. When you hear beep beep, you know you gotta run. Oh man. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm done. I'm so done. Did he frag himself into that enemy throw? Cosmonaut just blew that dude's head off. They just want to give me highlights today. Yeah, let's go with that. I really hope you caught that. Oh, I died. Did you did you blow yourself up with that grenade just now? I blew it up. And then it just blew up. Okay. It blew up. Then okay. It instantly died. It didn't go yeah. down. Yeah, get wrecked. That's I, I don't want Green 4 to win this. I've seen too much BS. They still might win it though, and that's the scary part. It's been a funny round. Funny. Funny. Goodbye. Bye, Stark. See you next week. Alright, Nielsen's clearing this building. I'm surprised that did not hurt me, though. Herb just got torn to shit. Oh, he's trying to dent the vehicle, but didn't dent. This has only been 20 minutes. Oh, look at that delayed cook-off there. There we go. It's only been 18 minutes in this round, and it's going to be over in another five at this rate. Does Norris have a machine gun? Nope. It's GG. We still have Falcon, who just... What do you... What, did, what was your plan? What was your plan with that, sir? What was your plan? Ilbenik, no, 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 I did see it. I did see it. You got out, got gunned down by two people, woke up, and then their marks, no, their sniper shot you with a one tap. And you would have turned around and killed them too. But I think you were partially AFK because you didn't immediately react. It was, it was dumb. It was, everything's dumb about this round. Oh, before? No, I only caught your death. I'm sorry, bro. I'm waiting for Falcon's head to get taken off at this rate. He's gliding around. You got Norris back here. But I say again, he doesn't have the machine gun. But he has an open window. Grenade? No? Door? Headshot. Wow, that happened. Right, oh, Ilbenek. Have fun. 
Is Falcon dead? I don't see him. Falcon is dead. He's dead. Maz killed him. As to be expected. Oh. Norris is dead. Huh. How's Chow? Chow just got purple smoked. That means he's about to die. Yeah, well, that happened. That's literally what this round is going to be called. If I remember, in the future, I'm just going to call this round, Wow, that happened on Chango. Friday fi Night Fights, Arma 3 PvP Commentary. Oh, wow. Bell's down, because Mass Drop shot at him. And now the Huey is firing at Maz for some silly reason. And now there's a marksman firing at the Huey. And Chow got double tapped. Eagle's still alive. And there's uh, two green four alive. Cake and Eagle. Both on no kills. Blue four has about a squad left alive. And a Huey. Do you believe in cake? Well, he's either going to take the cake or the cake is going to be a lie. So, let's see it. Johnny, I swear they're not all this chaotic. This was just... I think I wrote more highlights down in this round than the other two combined. So, that just goes to show that this was chaos. Oh, cake just got hit. No, he just teabagged Falcon's body. Never mind. Granada! Granada! Oh, Falcon bitching about FNF and an FNF stream. We can check that off. Cake finds Cosmonaut. The cake was a lie. Are you trying to double tap? <laughs> he fucking racked on back up out of the uncut animation and made Cosmonaut miss a point blank shot. Oh, oh, the cake was a fucking lie anyway. Eagle is gonna bush camp. Let's see how well this does. Now all of Blue Four knows you are here, and you have a bush, and your head is in front of your body. I give you one minute. Maz, Maz, please. Forty-five seconds. Suppressing. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Eleven second mark, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I give him a minute. That sums up the round for me. 
That just sums up the damn round. All right, let's go play some Daisy. I I need to be trolled just to feel something at this point. Give me a fucking minute. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. What was that? Can someone 